Stakeholders in Ogun State have expressed concern over the rampant cases of intimidation, harassment and assault of journalists while carrying out investigative and other routine reports. Our correspondent tells more on this report. The UNESCO report states over 1,200 journalists were killed between 2006 to 2020, while over 62 lost their lives and in 9 out of 10 cases, the killers go unpunished. The convener, Simeon Fakaye, raises concern about the economic and psychological safety of journalists in Nigeria in order for them to do their jobs without fear or favor. I mean, all over the world, there has been attacks, assaults, and in some cases, outright assassination of journalists. But the problem is the impunity, that is, failure on the part of the government or the judicial sector to prosecute or brought to book or to, pop, or to punish the perpetrators of those dastard acts. And the implication is that if the perpetrators of these violence acts goes unpunished in no time, assaults, killing, attacks on journalists could become the norm. At this event, stakeholders and practitioners in the industry advocate safety for journalists with a call for an absolute freedom of the press. I was writing down when the anchor was speaking. He said some journalists were killed in 2nd November 2013. He said he was given 24 hours ultimatum to vacate a kitty state by a governor. He said he witnessed journalists being beaten by security officers, supervised by a governor. He also said, I have witnessed journalists being victimized in Ogun State by a governor. So you see there's a common denominator in all of these things. So that tells us, and that is in tandem with my notes, there is, if you collect the light term, there's a common denominator. The major perpetrators of journalists' um, assault are the political actors. A veteran journalist at the event challenged media organizations to improve the welfare of their workers. UJ is not doing enough when it comes to issue of remuneration for journalists. Right? This is the period of how you can be bought easily. If the publishers of newspapers are not paying, how do you expect the poor journalists to survive? If somebody gives him Brian Blue, you want him to reject that Brian Blue? No. That is one of the big problems in the media. When they are not properly paid, there will be temptations. And I'm a product of media. So why should we now not doing well with the journalist? It is appalling, it is uncomfortable, it is condemnable. I want to say that journalism is the fourth estate of the realm. They are the one that can make the society to be better. And the problem of this country, I want to say that, is the media that can solve the problem. To avoid further attacks, journalists are therefore advised to always tread carefully while discharging their duties. Abibat Ajayi, Plus TV Africa, Ogun State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.